Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Jeff. Thank you very much for uh, for having me out to Charlotte, and I'm very excited to hear about your new E-Series Valentino pads. And uh, maybe you can explain a little bit about the dynamics of the pad and, and why they're becoming so popular. Sure, sure. Well, thanks for being here. It's, uh, it's fun to have you here. Thank you. The, the E-Series we've been working on for maybe two and a half years now, and um, we've been developing a pad that um, um, I think will fit beautifully in everybody's workshop. I can't imagine a technician that wouldn't benefit from, from this pad. So we've been working on it for over two years and we've been working with various materials and so forth and we've really centered on um, what I think is a, is a, a perfect recipe. And the, uh, the last year particularly, we've been really focused on production methods where we could make it really consistently beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a challenge. As most of us know, we've been buying pads for, in my case, 30 plus years. Right, you know, right. we, we see a lot of pads come in that we just want to throw away immediately. And so the intent with us is, is that every, every pad is, is worthy of, uh, of an instrument mm -hmm. as its own. So um, we, we started off by um, trying to find a, a hybrid approach, if you will, uh, and it's kind of a, a marriage of some newer uh, man-made materials with some traditional methods of building a pad, which is to say that it uses a traditional bladder skin that's wrapped over the pad. Um, if you look at it, uh, if I were just to hand you a handful, you'd look at it and say, this is a beautifully made pad, mm -hmm. there we go. But at the core is an engineered felt, which is really kind of the, the secret sauce, if you will, of mm -hmm. the pad. Mm -hmm. And then the substrate uh, is a synthetic um, card stock, essentially. So, um, these materials at the core and the substrate don't absorb moisture, so it makes the pad very stable over time in, in a variety of different environments and so forth. So that's kind of where we were trying to go with this pad, and we got there. <laughs> Great. It, it was very successful. Well, that's exciting. I mean, yeah, we all know as repair techs trying to see a pad or see a pad that's been waterlogged and how it shrinks and how you know a person's moisture can affect the pad and it's it's exciting to hear that this pad is more s stable yeah it's very important and and uh I, i'm curious can you use this pad for the rental stock is it a good pad to use on beginner models, intermediate, pro models, what area would you recommend? All of those, all of those. I think everybody will benefit from this pad. It's certainly a pad that is made to the, um, the quality and precision you would expect uh, in the, the, the highest level of handmade flutes. And it's also made at a moderate price point that you could afford to use it in the student and intermediate instruments. And I would suggest even further that because of the way it's made and with the exactness and the repeatability, if you will, the pad is made in a way that saves you money when you use it on the student or the intermediate flute. It saves you time. You could get the results you're after in less amount of time because of the way this pad is built. So. There's no reason not to use it in a student model instrument, intermediate or professional. It serves all those purposes beautifully, I think. And I assume it, it accepts the shimming methods as far as using... Uh... Yes, yeah, that's a great question. And, and I, I would say this to the technicians out there, whatever you're doing right now that's successful will work with this pad. I see. You don't have to learn any new techniques. It, whatever you're doing, if you you know, some people don't shim at all. Mm -hmm. Some people do a lot of partial shims. Some people are using a floating method with adhesive washers behind the pads. All these methods will work because a great pad is a great pad. And 
This helps you get to the truth much quicker because of, of its predictability and dimension and the stability we talked about. And it's also a pad that has some forgiveness. And I think this is important, particularly when you mentioned the, the student model instruments. You, if you don't have a perfect tone hole, you need a pad that's going to be okay with that and still cover. Otherwise, the child doesn't stand a chance. Right. So in the past, there's been you know, maybe some very spongy feeling, mm -hmm. you know, soft pads essentially. To make up the difference. And this is not that at all. Mm -hmm. it, it, this is not that. But it is a pad that the materials have enough forgiveness in them to uh, adapt to a less than perfect home. I say. see. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the gold beater skin that it's wrapped with and also uh, the sealing properties as far as creating a seat with these pads? Well, the, the skin is the traditional skin you see on any felt pad that comes along. Um, uh, we, uh, we get ours, of course, from a, a, a source that we find delivers us very consistent quality and we have certain specifications with that and so forth. So we're getting in a nice quality skin. Um, but really, if, if there is a weak point in any pad, um, it's probably the skin because it's, a, it's an organic material. It's a membrane, if mm -hmm. you will, and, and it could have fissures in it and so forth. And ours is not immune to that because we are using a traditional skin and traditional methods. Um, but we inspect the skin very, very closely before we we build a pad out of it, so we've we we're building that extra uh, insurance into into our pad. With with the seating methods, um, because of the the skin being what it's what it is, a lot of people will wet the skin or something like this before they seat it, and I think that maybe makes it a little more supple, and and that's fine. And again, whatever techniques you're using that mm -hmm. you find successful are great that will work with this. Because we've tried it a number of different ways. Uh, we've found our way of doing it, um, but I expect other shops will do the same. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll use the methods they're using right now, and they probably won't change a thing. Um, with, in my case, what I personally do uh, when I'm installing a pad that uses a, a, a washer to hold it in as opposed to a bushing, um, you know, as you install the washer, the, the pad gets twisted a little bit, the skin gets twisted and wrinkled. And it used to be in, in years past that we would take a little iron and, and heat that up and, and, and so forth. Right. And I found that's totally unnecessary. I just take a drop of pad juice on a Q-tip uh -huh. and wipe it around the wrinkled skin of the pad and in 15-20 seconds the wrinkles are gone. So that also now leaves a little bit of moisture on the skin of the pad and now it's ready for clamping or whatever technique you, you use to put the impression in. It does, these pads take a, a, an impression but they're not going to take a, a deep impression like a, a, a soft felt pad would. But they'll take a, a reasonable impression. And you mentioned a soft pad or a uh, woven pad or felt pad. How, what is the consistency on, uh, or how do you compare them to that as far as the thickness? Oh, well, these are made at what we consider a medium thickness, which uh, some pad makers would make a, a 110, uh, 110 thousandths thickness. And this is made at about 105 thousandths in thickness. And we consider that a medium pad, and that's that'll work in most models of flutes that are that are on the market today. We have also started making a thinner pad on request for a, a few customers, and I expect that that will soon be part of the catalog as well. Yeah, I assume different manufacturers and different models possibly take thinner pads. Right, particularly uh, instruments that have stabilizers installed or ones with machine pad cups and so forth. They could often uh, work better with a thinner pad. And how is the response so far with this new E-Series pad? Oh, it's, it's, it's been great and it's been uh, very heartwarming, frankly. Uh, because we, we've worked very hard putting this together. Mm -hmm. And all the, all the comments we're getting from, from both musicians and the technicians have been nothing but positive, uh, thankfully. It's been, um, 
uh, a lot of fun uh, working with the techs on this and working with some players that we've had testing it and so forth. And, and all the responses have been uh, very, very positive. Well, Jeff, thanks for explaining this to me. I'm so excited about the pad and to use the pad, and, and it's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. So thanks once again. Thanks, thanks again for being here, Jim. Well, I've enjoyed it.